this is Uma and you're watching the umashow.com. As we all know, the umashow.com is all about loving yourself, believing in your dreams and being inspiring to live a very positive and happy life. Well, today I have a very fun topic. I'm talking about fashion and I have a very, very, very popular stylist from this city on my show. Kelly, Thank welcome you. on the show. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for inviting me. Such a pleasure to have you. And we're talking about the summer trends for 2016. And there's lots of them. It I really want to is know. fabulous. I mean, it's, summer for me is always a great time. It's always more popular, believe mm -hmm. it or not, than shopping for winter. Really? I, I, and I think maybe the climate here, but I don't know, it's just, you can buy so much more for your money. You get better value. So I, I think I that's guess one. So, yes. And the colors. Colors, you know, in the I winter, know. I mean, and there's been a ton of colours out here. I but I wanted to talk about one of my favourite key trends of the season, which has been off the shoulder. Mm -hmm. So when I talk about off yes. the shoulder, oh, it's one of the most flattering trends that are out there because it shows off the, the smallest yeah. part of, uh, of your body. Wow, I see so many pictures on Instagram, so that's really in fashion. And even the, you know, really frilly uh, sleeves, mm. and I think they look So they really call, good. the other one is the cold shoulder, okay. where it's got the little cutouts. Oh, yes. and, and cutouts is another big trend mm -hmm. as well, and that's evolved from all aspects of, you know, tops, mm -hmm. dresses, Mm -hmm. Not always appropriate, but given the right circumstances, mm -hmm. it can look fabulous and even swimwear. Oh. I mean, we've seen, um, you know, the swimming costumes or the two pieces and, mm -hmm. you know, all sorts of designs and um, there's lots out there. So cutouts and off the shoulder, one of my favourite trends. Amazing. One of the other trends that have been there, which has been back to my era of growing up, is the mm -hmm. 90s. Mm. And when I say 90s, mm -hmm. we're talking double denim. Oh, it has yes. actually come back. I mean, there's a lot of denim out yes. there. Um, we've got denim bodysuits. We've mm. got, apart from the jeans and the skirts, you know, the jackets. We've got dungarees. Like it's, mm. it's everywhere. Um, but also the 90s slip. Mm -hmm. Now, do you remember the sort of spaghetti strap, yes. slinky Isn't little it? slip? Yeah, it's so everywhere. comfortable. It's everywhere. Every designer's pulled it mm. up, and every high street has taken, high street store has taken um, their own evolution style on it as well. That's amazing. Um, okay. So that's another one to look out mm. for. And what else would I say that I've seen a lot and that I like has been the print and the element of mm -hmm. 70s. So believe it or not, for the time of year, there's a lot of um, autumnal colors, I would say, mm -hmm. um, around in the stores. There's a lot of pleats, a lot of wide, wide legs, mm -hmm. from denim to trousers. Yes, wide legs are back, aren't they? Yeah, they yes. are. And you know, they're really flattering because you can wear the huge heels, heels underneath them, it. the big platforms yeah. that make you look, you know, super tall, super yes, skinny, yeah. and, and they're high-waisted. Mm -hmm. So they give your leg that, you know, long legs, super long yeah. legs. So they're some of my favorite trends that I really enjoyed shopping for clients this season. That's amazing. Yeah. 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 I, 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 as I said, I was talking about you, my style has been the same for years and I, I'm just so comfortable in it. But I really admire women having, you know, style and following trends and really being up there and out there with it. So um, the other day I was going through Instagram and I saw the wide leg jeans and you know when I was pregnant, and that was in 2000 when I delivered my baby and I, I had this one of my favorite jeans that was wide legged and I never gave it away. Mm, and well I said, done I you. Have, yeah, I was like, I have to get into these jeans and lose my weight and I did and then the fashion was yeah, yeah. out and so I went in my cupboard and I took that jeans and I said, yeah, I can wear this now. It is great. <laughs> Denim. Oh, oh my God, yes. And boyfriend, I mean, girlfriend, I mean, there's just a whole list. So denim, yeah, denim's up there. Definitely Adventure. needs to be All in your choice. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And exactly. And it's good to have so many choices. Mm. Yeah. For body shapes, it is. And personality. Absolutely. You know, not everyone can pull off the boyfriend casual mm -hmm. ripped jeans. In the same time, you know, other people can. So you need that variation. Exactly. Style has got very casual. Um, Which is good. Yeah, it is. Okay. And I remember the days of, you know, when I was first styling clients, mm -hmm. the types of things I would be choosing. And now, what I'm choosing. And mm -hmm. that's just style and evolu uh, evolution um, over the years, but it's definitely it's that sports luxe mm -hmm. kind of style, mm -hmm. which I really like. Great. Anything else in terms of Other accessories? Trends, I, mean, access I mean, accessories are always huge. Mm -hmm. It's just um, one of my favorite accessories trends has been um, 
the necklace layering. Mm -hmm. So that. you have um, three or four mm -hmm. on different lengths and you can mix and match different textures, you can add in uh, really long ones with really short ones and you can do this really inexpensively. Mm -hmm. um, one of the places that uh, clients love is actually Forever 21. Oh, they have amazing accessories. They do yeah. and you can buy four necklaces and you pile them all on mm -hmm. and then people go, oh my god, look, your necklace looks amazing and, and mm -hmm. you know, it, it's very inexpensive yes. and um, but it looks a real statement. So layering, even if you've got ones in the house mm -hmm. that you can just pile on, it just makes such a difference, really it does. And um, I, I was talking to somebody the other day and we said, you know, fashion is it's just supposed to have fun with fashion, not take it too seriously. Absolutely and, and something that clients do say to me is, oh I want to buy a piece and but I want to still be wearing it in 10 years and I, and that's really hard because mm. unless you've got that style personality that's able to carry off a vintage piece mm. or carry off something that's not in trend, but it's okay. It's okay to wear it for a couple of years and then go, thank you. Yeah. You brought me a good time. <laughs> it wore really well. Enough. I'm going to move on. Yeah. And again, it's just keeping on top of it. Great. Yeah. Thank you so much. I think they're great tips and I learned so much. You're today. most welcome. I'm Thank gonna you. try all of them. Good. Send you some pictures. <laughs> Tag me in an Instagram. <laughs> Absolutely, I'm gonna do that. Thank you. And uh, I learned so much from Kelly today. I'm sure you did too. Write to me if you want me to ask anything more to Kelly. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on my Instagram and Facebook page and keep living a very happy and stylish life. <laughs>